on the world. Our troops are ready. We're ready right now to fight North Korea. And all the options are ready to go. And I just pray that if there is the remote chance, I, I, holding out last hope before there would be a strike, that there might be some sensibility into the northern uh, regimes, uh, Kim Jong-un's regime, that uh, either they take him out, uh, shoot him dead, seriously, uh, shoot Kim Jong-un in the head, assassinate him. Uh, because I'm afraid if they don't do it, if they don't resist him, that basically they're signing their own death warrant. So if there's anybody in power over there, please do the right thing. Get rid of them. By the way, uh, ending on a nice note, a nicer note here, but that's reality, folks. But Tiger Woods, he's roaring back into professional golf yesterday, making five birdies and closing with a three under 69 in the first round of the Hero World Challenge in the Bahamas. Well, the score was only good enough for an eight-place tie against many of the best golfers in the world. Tiger Woods mainly played against his own expectations after 301 days away from golf due to his his fourth back surgery. But he says, for me, I thought I did great. Who ended the round three shots off the leader, Tommy Fleetwood, per PGA Tour, to come out here and score like I did. It was nice. And it's got the return to golf course uh, commentaries all over ESPN and golf channels talking about Woods, which is kind of nice to hear. And maybe bouncing back from his back surgery, we'll see more of that tiger. And maybe he'll be off the medications. But again, he hit 7 of 13 fairways, 12 of 18 green over the round of Albany Golf Club course where 15 of the 18 players broke par, according to ESPN. Golf.com warned not to read too much into Woods' latest comeback too early. After finishing 15th at the Hero World Challenge last year, he missed the cut at Torrey Pines before withdrawing Dubai Desert Classic after the first round before back surgery. But Woods is scheduled to tee off with Henrik Stenson on... I guess later today, according to golf.com. So I, I am hoping everybody loves a good comeback story. Uh, you know, everywhere I looked when he was at his glory, you know, he's on the TLC um, laser eye center. We'd see Tiger Woods in the, in the ads and in the endorsements for Buick. And he was just uh, bigger than life. He was just everywhere. And it would be really nice to see him uh, not getting arrested for DUIs or medication or whatever it is that he just gets back, finds the love of his life. And his dad was his North. I don't know if it was his Lord, but I think his dad was his North and, and everybody says that he kind of, he started teetering greatly after his dad passed away because his dad really held him to the fire. I mean, it was his dad that he played with and he lost his best friend. He, his mentor, his friend, and this has affected other people. It's not just celebrities. I mean, it affects other people out there. And uh, we're just hoping good things for Tiger Woods. By the way, did you hear this story about Turkish Airlines? They had a flight to Nairobi to Istanbul, to Turkey, you know. But they're out there, and everybody's getting onto the Wi-Fi. And then guess what pops up on people's computers and on their, you know, Handheld devices, which is a computer. Bomb on board. Bomb on board. Now, that alarmed passengers, I got to say. In a statement, Turkish Airlines said the flight made an emergency landing at an airport in Sudan, but the flight was safely resumed after security inspections on all passengers in the aircraft. Experts said the Wi-Fi network in question was created on board. No irregularities were seen after security procedures were carried out and passengers were brought back on the plane once boarding restarted, according to Turkish Airways. And individuals can create personal Wi-Fi networks on, on uh, devices such as mobile phones and name them whatever they want. 
The airline said all 100 passengers were brought back on board the flight, but did not say whether authorities had identified the passenger who had created the Wi-Fi network. So I don't know if the person actually erased it where it did not show. Uh, you can easily delete the network, and that could possibly be it. So I don't know if they went upon that, but it just freaked out a bunch of people. What a bad person to do something like that. But they followed the security precautions, and they protected their passengers. They took it serious, which was great, and that's what they're supposed to do. So it's nice to see that uh, they take it serious because there are terrorists that are still trying to bring down planes, ISIS, from any, everywhere, especially in that region, that part of the world. But still a reminder that there are bad people out there, and the person that did that, awful. Not a good thing. Hope you have a nice weekend, by the way. It is Friday, moving into the weekend. If you enjoy the show, why don't you become a partner of this broadcast and uh, share the show with many others across the country who are listener-supported. And becoming a For the People member is quite easy. You just log on to our website at ForThePeopleShow.com, and you can click on the Donate button, and you can become a monthly supporter, which many do. You can put in the denominator, whether it's a dollar a month or 25 or if you'd like to get more, that would be great. We're trying to get on more stations, and we could use your help promoting the broadcast. That's a way to do it. Keith Allen, For the People, saying all the best. May God bless.